Okay. All right, Rachel and Jean had to walk across <laughs> water. They are like, it's low tide. We're getting it framed up here. Give them just one second. We'll get this, I promise. We're about T minus one-ish minute. This is uh, Rachel and Jean. Get ready, they, here it comes. <laughs> yes, perfect. Right there, Jean, that's good. We got it. Yes, just in time. Let's hear it for Rachel and Jean. They had to boat and then literally sprint across low tides, pulling a boat. They have to be so out of breath. Just in time to see static serial number five, Starship Fire. This is one for the ages. Holy moly. Oh, let's hear it for them. Woo! Rachel and Jean, let's see this. We think we're literally seconds away at this point from static fire, so. Here we go. Based on the sirens, based on everything we, we kind of know from previous static fires, it seems like it's probably going to go off at 3 p.m. local, which, accounting for the delay, is about 30 seconds from right now-ish. I'm just kind of guessing. Oh, we got a pointy end up, flaming end down. We're ready to go. <laughs> Don't worry. It's been a long day. I've been streaming literally all day. This is going to be the perfect cherry on top. Just in time to take a nap. This is what I want to see. This will set off a good weekend to finish up some more work and and get ready to... Uh... Wow, Rachel and Gene, I cannot believe it. S Padre Isle, you guys are the best. Crazy. Crazy. You guys are... Here we go. Any second now. Any second now. It's gonna be quick. We're just gonna see an engine ignition, hopefully. Hopefully, like any second. We're not seeing any signs that they've scrubbed. We don't see any additional venting. My heart's beating like crazy. <laughs> Come on, baby. This still all looks like it's just sitting there idle, ready to ready to go. I cannot believe you guys. I really hope they didn't sprint for their lives for another scrub. I will be so sad for for Rachel and Jean, for SpaceX, for all of us. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. Light that raptor. Light that raptor. Let's see it. Let's see it. There. Yes. Yes. Okay, now let's listen. There's a, there'll be a 15 second delay. And it's still standing. Finally. Yes. It's still standing. That's what we're waiting for. For those of you that are like, what are, that was it right there. That little, little blip. That was it. <laughs> That's what we're waiting for. Oh. Woo. That's literally been like multiple weeks in the waiting. This is, this is still really, really, really good because uh, this, the fact that it's still standing here, maybe we'll actually see a hop in three or four days. They'll probably go check it all out, make sure everything's still good to go. It's still standing. This is good. So the next step, okay, we had, uh, here, <laughs> we can go uh, ignition slash static fire. And I did not crap my pants. 
So everything appears to be completely normal. This is great. So so again, the next step. So real quick rundown, since I've been so focused on this, for those of you just tuning in or if you happen to click on this and have no idea what we're looking at, this is SpaceX's Starship prototype vehicle, serial number five. We've been waiting for this thing to test for a long time. Uh, it is, it's been a long time coming. These are all the different versions that, that we've seen so far, basically in the last year. So at first it was Star Hopper, basically a little water tower with their Raptor engine stuck underneath it. And they flew that thing twice. It actually flew this little, it's, I'm mean, little is relative. It's, it's nine meters wide. Uh, it's about 20 meters tall. So it's, it's, that's tw uh, 30 feet wide, about 60 feet tall or something uh, ish. Uh, that was Star Hopper. It flew in 2019, a 20 meter hop and then a 150 meter hop. Then since then they've been doing these larger full scale prototypes. And, uh, yeah, th that's, that's what we're kind of in the middle of right now. So they've done Mark one and Mark two. Those were more like mock-ups than prototype, even though they did test Mark one just to destruction. Anyway, then they've had some pressure test articles. Uh, then they've had serial number one, three, and four, which are full size. And this is serial number five. This is the first one. Let's see, which is, when's the last time we actually saw a static fire that was successful? Was that serial number three? I feel like it's been a long time. I feel like it's been a really, really lo long time. So this is great, guys. So uh, I can't actually do a slow-mo replay. T tonight we'll be posting uh, 120 frames per second slow motion 4k video of that static fire and that'll help us kind of look at the details and, and see a little bit more um, on this but wow uh, it happened so the next step now is is they'll check it out they'll go out there tonight and take a look over it they have clearances they have no tams which are notice to airmen or basically a ceiling to make sure that it's okay for it to fly they have to have faa clearance this thing that's nine meters wide about 30 meters tall we're talking 30 feet wide almost 100 feet tall this is huge this is absolutely massive this will leave the ground it will take off using a single raptor engine it's, and this the raptor engine is a full flow stage combustion cycle methane powered rocket engine that's arguably the most advanced rocket engine in the entire world and so what happens is it's it'll take off they'll they'll start it they'll start it up and then they'll release it or or at least they'll um you know, I don't know actually know if they have full blown hold down clamps on it or not, or what the deal is. But maybe just once the thrust to weight ratio gets high enough, it'll leave the pad. It'll translate over. There's actually little six little landing legs up inside the skirt there. Those will pop down while it's in transit, and then it'll land on these little landing legs. And oh, this is great news. I'm so glad it's still standing. There's no fires underneath it. This has always been a concern. Is like there's been fires underneath some of these. There's been problems everything looks great oh baby that looked fantastic that looked really 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 good um, let me see here let's see if we can get something from Elon Everything seemed normal. All right. Sweet. Okay, that's awesome. This is great news, guys. So, so as soon as this thing does, whatever it does next, I will be covering it. I will also, the next thing I'll be covering for you guys, I will be covering the splashdown of DM2. Uh, that's currently scheduled to undock on Saturday. I will just uh, do the the splashdown because that could be anywhere from like Sunday early afternoon through Monday or even Tuesday, depending on splashdown zones, weather, and a bunch of other variables. So I will stream the splashdown whenever that happens. I will also have a video out before that happens on how you get back from orbit because getting down from orbit is very complicated. Actually, there's a lot of systems involved, the maneuvering thrusters, all the different orbital maneuvers they do to get ready to deorbit, the deorbiting, the heat shield, the parachutes. I'll go through all of the systems that take it, uh, take and get astronauts home safely from the International Space Station. It is specific to the Dragon capsule, but it's also generic enough that it teaches you about um, about deorbiting from basically any vehicle. So um, it's 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 topical for DM2, but it's also will help you understand how you exactly deorbit. So that'll be coming out hopefully on Saturday ish. So wish me luck. It means I won't be sleeping at all because I haven't slept ever. So. 
Uh, real quick, thanks to Space Viking so much. Thank you, Space Viking. Carson Car uh, Carolina, thank you for m maximum effort. And uh, Per Thyron, thanks. The filmers, absolutely. Thank you so much, Per. Absolutely. Uh, I, I pay Rachel and Jean for their time, and they're, they're just awesome. They are the hardest working people. Uh, so thank you so much for that. James Shell, thanks for the, the payers. Space Viking, way to hustle. Everyone, again, let's hear it for Rachel and Jean. They're continuing to detank right now. Rachel and Jean with at Space Padre Isle. Please just throw them a, a follow on Twitter. Uh, that's the that's the least you can do to help show your support and appreciation for getting these awesome shots for us. Um, and thank you again, Space Viking. Uh, per Thyron, the pointy end must be more pointa. That the problem is true. It is more of a squarey end up. Um, let's see here. Uh, somebody still does rocket audio. We did get some some audio in there. Pretty stoked on that. Um, and then let's see here. Uh, does anyone see Zeus? I don't know if Zeus, how far away Zeus is. They do have a, a little robot dog that's out there, so. Um, oh, sweet. So Elon said, serial number five just completed full duration static fire. 150 meter hop soon. That's awesome. Sounds like he already got on it. That is so great. That is so great. All right, guys, I'm going to take a much, 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 much needed nap. Thank you to all of you guys for tuning in. Again, if you want to help support what I do, uh, there's a couple fun ways. You can check out our awesome merchandise at shop.everydayastronaut.com. So you can get your hands on the Future Martian t-shirt that I'm wearing. And for the next 24 hours, this is 10% off if you use the coupon code um, launch day, which is all one word, all lowercase. And of course, it does have uh, little details on it, like the gravity and the atmospheric composition of Mars. It also has the prime candidate landing sites of Arcadia and Planitia, which is where Starship will land someday, hopefully. Uh, definitely check this out. This is one of my favorite shirts. 10% uh, off if you use coupon code launch day. Also, while you're at it, check out, we do have brand new full flow stage combustion cycle hoodies. Uh, they have lots of fun details, like on the sleeve, it shows the specific impulse and the thrust and all that stuff. It also has custom tags, and these are all hand screen printed, hand sewn here in the United States. Uh, we don't do, we do runs of merchandise. We don't do like print on demand. So this is all very premium uh, garments and very, there's lots of special touches just for you guys. Uh, we also, and don't forget there's the, or we also have new remove before flight keychains that are really cool. I think these are awesome. I love the clasps. They're super high end. And we also have you covered for face hole, face hole covers, not a mask. So if you guys want to cover your face hole, uh, I've got you covered as well. So check those out. While you're there, and yeah, and if you want to, and if you want to join our awesome community, our awesome Discord channel, or get access to some of the stuff that we're working on so far, so uh, yeah, hit me up on Patreon. Go to Patreon.com/slash Everyday Astronaut. Um, uh, uh, one more thank you, real quick, to some of the uh, the the we had some really generous donations again uh, per Thyron. Thank you. That is uh, someone did the math here. I didn't realize how much that is. Thank you so much. That will be going straight to Rachel and Jean. I really, really appreciate that. Very, very, everyone say thank you uh, to Per. That is an extremely generous donation. And Peter, uh, also thank you so much. Was gonna send this earlier today for Perseverance. Thanks, Tim. Thank you so much, Peter. That means a lot. It's been a long day for me. I've been talking basically nonstop since 5 a.m. I'm ready to take a nap. So um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with me all day. You guys are awesome. Uh, it's been an, a crazy, crazy day in space flight. So I'm going to tune out here. I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. We'll see you uh, for Splashdown here in just a couple days. All right, that's going to do it for me. I'm Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut, bringing space down to Earth for everyday people. Bye, everybody.